Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 14th of January, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Deva Sahai M. Pillai. Deva Sahai M. Pillai is from India. He was born as Neelakandan Pillai in the 17th century. He was from the Travancore region of Tamil Nadu, which comes under the Kanyakumari district. Neelakandan Pillai was from a Naya family, a upper caste family, and he was a close associate with the king of that time, uh, King Marthandavarma. After a bout of famines that struck that place, Dehosayam Pillai, or Nilakandan Pillai, he was then, lost all his wealth and he had a question in his mind that who will now respect me now that I do not have a penny with me. It was during this time that he met a devout Catholic, a friend of his, Benedict Staccio de Lenoy, an official who, who would sit with them and teach him faith. He gave him the example of Job from the Bible and told him that for the Lord, nothing is impossible. And in suffering, we can glorify him. He basically taught Nilakandan the meaning of suffering. Having learnt the meaning of suffering and the joy in it, Nilakandan joined the faith. He was baptized and he took the name Deva Sahayam. Deva Sahayam is the Indian version of the name Lazarus, which means God helps. Deva Sahayam Pillai. Now, who turned to faith, brought his whole family into faith. His wife, who was, who earlier had a name which was not with the faith, took a name which now meant Saint Teresa's name, Myana Puamma, which means Saint Teresa's name, a little flower. So that's how he, his family became Catholics. Not only that, later, because of him, there were so many people who were converting into faith. Seeing this, the king removed him from the office and started torturing him. He had to go undergo a lot of torture and later he was taken to a nearby forest and there he was tortured and finally shot dead. The way in, in which he was tortured was really gruesome, horrific, terrible, yet he was not sad with all of this because he knew that he was moving towards something much more greater than what he was suffering. After the death of Neela Kandan, who was now Deva Sahayam, his place of death was, his, his tomb was visited by many and many healings took place. And it was only in the year 1992 that the diocese took up his case and later he was beatified by the Pope. Today he stands to us an example, being from our own land, from India. He stands to us as a sweet example of purity. Amen.